Ani Abu Olba is a Canadian Palestinian who co founded Spa Utopia in our city. Moishi Ben Shlomo is a Canadian Israeli entrepreneur who sells Dermaspark products such as Bella Contour to spas and wellness centers. Their business connections brought them together, but much to their surprise, they had more in common than health, fitness, and business. It is my pleasure to welcome Ani Abu Olba and Moishi Ben Shlomo to Studio 4 to tell us more. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. When did you two meet and where? You want to go? Um, it was a guy that told me, you have, with your products, you have to talk to Aoni. Mm -hmm. Who is Aoni? He is the owner of Spyotopia. So it was November, I think. Mm -hmm. It was Tuesday. I called. I left a message. I couldn't find him. He got back to me 24 hours later. It was noon on, on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the second? <laughs> yes. Yes, of course. And you're trying to sell him, uh, uh, is it called Bella Contour? Bella Contour. This is a body contouring machine for circumference reduction. Okay. I think I have one at my Pilates class. <laughs> the no. one that jiggles you. No. No, no, no. No, no not that one. No, what no. is it? This is a machine that works on your uh, fat cells to reduce okay. circumference. So, it so does it's not it. the jiggle machine? No, no. not at all. Oh. It's totally it's different. It's an ultrasound machine. It's an ultrasound. It works on three technologies: ultrasound, mm. electrical field, and vacuum massage. Really? And it simulates the natural process of the body. It does exactly what your body is doing when you are working out. It extracts <coughs> the lipids, the, f uh, the fatty acids from your fat cells, okay. and it shrinks it. It doesn't destroy fat cells. It doesn't reduce the number of fat cells in your body. It merely shrinks the circumference of your body where you want to lose. We so like that. So the cellulite and the little bumps and the lose skin. Lose where you choose. Lose where you choose because they have exactly. a, something they call improper fat accumulation and every person knows about it. You go to the gym every day and you still have hips or you have bingo arms or something like that. Well, you're in the spa business, you know. So he's got this machine. You're interested, this ultrasound, new technology. He left a message, he left a message for mm -hmm. me to talk. And I heard from his accent that he's an Israeli right away. Mm -hmm. So I called him up and I said, okay, Moshe, uh, what's the plan? He says, I'd like to meet with you. I have to introduce for you something which you could use in your spa, which is a great machine to help your guests in health and wellness. And he knew from your name and your accent. I don't think he did yet. Oh, he, you didn't? I didn't. Okay. So I said, are you an Israeli? He said, yes. I <laughs> That's a you, given with I that said, name. How do you know? The son I of said, Solomon. I said, your accent. <coughs> and uh, I said, by the way, I'm a Palestinian. Mm. And a silent went. And he said, that will be interesting. I said, absolutely. Mm. So could I come and see you? I said, right away. OK, so uh, the man born on the West Bank, born in the West Bank? Correct. And the Israeli come together. Over coffee, lunch, what? Well, he came to my office mm -hmm. for coffee, and we start talking about not business at all, just who we are, where we mm. came from. And uh, the funny thing, he's about 30 minutes by car. He born where I was born. 30 minutes away from where you were born. Correct. Mm. He was the west of me, and I was the east of him. But uh, we shared the same value and the same history immediately and that's what made our friendship grow from that mm. minute that's incredible like 30 minutes away uh, you, you saw the same landmarks uh, you experienced some of the uh, the war and the conflict and the tension and the you shared the same people obviously the same places oh well, yes. you mentioned some names of people who you know which I have an idea which family they're from mm -hmm. um, we become very close because I think the values both, Mushi and I, we share family values, um, mental values, business values to help others. It's what really mm. made the relationship stronger, okay. regardless what his religion is or his race or his color. And that's how we hit it together. When, when I saw him, he's having that kind of values. Uh, we became even closer. Mm. Do you discuss politics, Middle East politics well, of specifically, course, of course ever? We, of course of we course. do. <laughs> of course you do. And it happened that we both agree. Mm. In what way? You agree? 
we agree that we have to live together. Mm. There is no other way. Mm -hmm. And we should not lose hope. This is what keeps us waking up in the morning. And this is something that um, we got to speak when we met, we got to speak on everything for like 30 minutes without even speaking about business and spas and Bella Contour and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And then we found that we have very, very solid common ground with how we perceive each other, how we relate to each other. It's the human it, factor. It's a major time. factor. Big it's time. a people factor and it's a personal factor. Yes. And uh, I once interviewed uh, World War II, that German and an American, and they had fought against each other in the war. And it was inc they had come together. It's a, a similar kind of story. And, and they had become best friends. And he had actually, they had gone eye to eye from the back of a fighter jet or something, like when they didn't have windows or I don't, don't exactly know how it worked. But it was an, one of those incredible stories. Hmm. It so, was amazing. Yeah, amazing. Uh, so the spa business, what got you into the spa business? When did you come to Canada? Oh, I came to Canada in 1969. Okay. I came as a tourist and I like Canada so well and uh, I asked to immigrate and because I have teaching education, teacher education and they were looking for teachers at that time so it was mm. my lucky day mm -hmm. and I stayed and I taught for five years in high school but at the same time I want to be a hairstylist. Really? I always want to be. Uh, but my family never allowed me to do so. Mm. They said, get a real job, right? Well... Or did they? <laughs> it is a real it job, but like, they... Uh, like lots of people, they think, you mm -hmm. know, like a hairdresser says, no. Yeah, anything. only, but become a teacher or a banker Correct. or something Correct. like that. Mm -hmm. So I started my business in hair and aesthetics and schools. And then when I moved to BC here, I did the same thing. And I had the opportunity to meet a couple of my guests who were clients of mine, I talked to them about my dream of opening spas. And they supported me with that and they become my partners. Mm. And um, that's the best thing ever happened to me. So dreams come true. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you, how did, when did you come to Canada? 99, like oh, 99. 30 years ago. So not that He's long still ago. a little kid. Mm, yes. He's yes. but a child. Yes. 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 I'm trying to get rid of my accent. Yes. I see. Well, <laughs> so he won't really know who you are, right? He won't he spot you. He would, mm -hmm. he would know. Mm -hmm. So we came here in 99. I, was, um, I came here to work for a high tech company in Burnaby uh, for two or three years, no more than that. And after one year, we understood that this is a place we want to call home. And we went through all the process and we are happily <laughs> mm -hmm. living here. There. And does Canada feel like home? For me, absolutely. It's better than home. Mm, better than home and for you? Yes. I know the call of Israel, I know. Um, yes, now Canada he is, this is my home right mm -hmm. now. This is my home. Mm -hmm. This is how I feel. Mm -hmm. Have you been back to the West uh, Bank? I've been back often. Now, last year I went with my six children. Really? At once, took them together. Mm. And it was an amazing trip for two weeks. I'm sure. And what did they ask you when you were there? What did they want to know about you and, Is it and my family your family? Or? What did your family want to know? Because you take them to a place uh, that in They want to say where their roots are. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they couldn't see the borders. I mentioned this the border here mm -hmm. um, but otherwise there is no topography will make a difference right between the West Bank mm -hmm. and Israel since mm -hmm. 1948 because so many people only know by what they see on the news that's the, their only experience of, of your experience really and some of it as you know it's all edited and it's not the it's not the real story and so it's horrendous and but there's some beauty there too Yes. And some. It's the most beautiful family. country, there is no doubt. Mm -hmm. Family um, connections. Family connections. Uh, Israel is a, is a different place. It's, uh, sometimes it's hard for me to explain Canadians how it goes there, how 
things are being done there. Mm -hmm. It's, in a way, it's similar. In a way, it's a different culture. So it's different. Of course, I have family there. I go there almost every year or every other year. Uh, my mom there, my sisters. It's a place that I feel for. It's mm -hmm. a place that I care about. Um, and I wish they knew how we could live together mm -hmm. like in Canada. Canada is a wonderful example for that. Well, I think the two of you may have to go to Washington. <laughs> you may that have would. to talk to, uh, or perhaps back to Israel in the West well, Bank, that talk to Netanyahu, talk to, talk to Obama. You know, let me mention something to you. The, mm. Both communities, they like the peace, mm. right? Yes. I'm going to be straightforward, and, I, and this is the same as what Moshe think. I think both communities have radicals, and there are minorities who's making this problem stew for a long time. Mm -hmm. And one day, the world will wake up and find out that the only way to do is peace. Yes, let's hope. Well, nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And nice, nice. to meet you. And My we'll pleasure. try that machine. Yes, the machine is should. wonderful. Then I better have a massage after, don't you think? It does. Mm. It does. It, it, does, it, does, it does a massage. Oh, it does all of it. OK, mm. but then don't you need a little oil and... You well, know, you have to try it. A little Ayurvedic and, uh, and, and a little uh, this and, and that. And the but beauty of it, it allows you to choose where to lose. You decide where you're going to lose. And we really? guarantee it. Okay. Yes. Thank you both. You're Thank welcome. you very much. Auni Abu Alba and Moshi Ben Shlomo, our guests.